Welcome to the Extreme Borneo Challenge. This program is about elevating and challenging oneself to experience something he or she never thought possible with Isuzu. It's about having the courage and surviving any adventures with the harshest conditions. Throughout this program, we will be taking you on a journey like never before. My name is Baki Zainal and this is the Extreme Borneo Challenge. Yeah! The Extreme Borneo Challenge will be seeing two teams leaving their city comfort, embracing Mother Nature and going against the extreme terrains of Sabah in the latest Isuzu D-Max 3.0X terrain. Two teams going at each other in wanting to walk home with prizes up to 30,000 Ringgit Malaysia. Yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you this year's team, First up, we have Team Isuzu! Yeah! And next, we have Team Stanley! Yeah! For the past 30 years, Borneo Safari has been something that everyone from around the world who's been driving their 4x4s wanting to be a part of this challenge. It is such a world-renowned challenge that this year, first time ever, eight of you will be participating in this. What do you look forward to it? Selling. I only know the result that we're getting me. We are, we are, we, we are winning. Yeah. Yeah. We are winning. So you're the winning team. Okay. Yeah. How about this side? Of course we're gonna win. Oh! So everybody's not even looking at Borneo Safari. They're only looking at the prizes. That's right. Okay, now speaking about the Borneo Safari, you know that Sabah's terrain is really, really hardcore. There's a lot of off-road. You would be off the grid. So today we are going to start our training for the first time ever before we go into Borneo Safari. Teams, are you ready? Yeah! Let the training begin! Let's go! Uh, the reason why I wanted to join Borneo Safari Challenge is because I really wanted to challenge my comfort zone. Yeah, I want to try all the hardcore terrains, all the mud, all the slopes, all the challenges. In the city, been spending time on social media. So this is really a good chance for us to really explore the adventure park. This will be a first time doing this kind of challenge where I push myself um, over the limit that I've never ever tried before. La. <laughs> okay, good morning everyone. Good morning! Again, I'm Derek Lau. I'll be your lead instructor for today. Before we head on to the obstacle course, a few things I want to get you very familiar with. We have here a factory spec Isuzu D-Max, 3 litre engine, plenty of torque, 450 Newton meters of torque, and you need every one of it. I have absolutely no knowledge with 4x4. I have never driven a 4x4 before. To be honest, I didn't know about this, but I did Google and I saw the picture all about the muddy, by 4x4 and the jungle. Um, that's it, the information that I have. I'm just going to walk you through a few things first, one of which is sitting position and steering control. So, off-roading is about being proactive. You want to be closer to the steering than you would normally on the road because when we step on the pedal, the brakes or the accelerator, we actually want to use the strength coming from our thigh, not from the ankle. When you're in the correct position, you should have a gap between the cushion and your thigh. So in off-roading, it's very crucial that we know where our steering angle is pointing to. You must always know the orientation of the steering. Off-roading is about going slow and doing very, very minor, precise maneuver. We don't do abrupt uh, steering maneuvers. So, kita nak cabar diri kepada tahap mana yang saya boleh pergi. 
okay, selama 2 tahun ni saya buat banyak cerita tentang Isuzu D-Max jadi saya rasa The Borneo Safari ini adalah kemuncak segala-galanya yang saya boleh cerita kepada pengguna Isuzu D-Max ini adalah sebenarnya kenapa awak perlu ataupun kenapa mereka perlu memiliki Isuzu s Okay, Tim, let's move on. Okay. I want to introduce you to the Isuzu D-Max, the equipped version for your bonus safari challenge. More handsome. Sexy. So, um, unlike the factory spec, this vehicle has a front-mounted booba. So the last thing you want is to have a front-end damage. A bumper like this is going to give you that extra protection. So these are very heavy duty. Uh, bars that are actually secured to your chassis. They are also perfect to be used as jacking points. I have a, a 4x4 also, uh, trucks, but basically it's uh, analog trucks. Uh. It's uh, mechanical, fully mechanical. So I would say this is the first time I drive uh, in off-road situation. Uh, automatic, uh, electronic control 4x4. Right? So basically it's uh, much way easier than driving a mechanical one. The vehicles that you'll be driving in the Borneo Safari is going to boast 4 inches of lift. Another important point is suspension uplift is going to give us additional ground clearance. Mm -hmm. On the standard vehicle, this car comes with 9 inches of ground clearance, actually best in class. One of the best ground clearance you can get across all pickup trucks in the market in another 4 inches. Different kind of view. <laughs> <laughs> so I bought my first 4x4 is last year. I'm going crazy with 4x4. I learned more from the workshop, how to fix, how to maintain, uh, how to modify. And now we are going to move on to driving it. So the moment you come across ahead of you, an obstacle. So when you come across an obstacle, you want to be in follow, why? Because in follow, all this traction control sensitivity will be on. Um, all those systems that are helpful to you on the road that you don't need on off-road, it will be switched off. So first up, our roller ramp. So now three wheels, both on the left and one on the front is now on the rollers. Mm. Traction control requires driver to give a little bit of input. Mm. Input meaning I need to step on the throttle. And when I add throttle, I maintain there. If the car is still stuck, I add a bit more. I gradually increase until eventually you feel that jerk, that is traction control, it kicks in. Right, so this is a very um, useful system but it's very reactive, meaning you have to get stuck first, you have to let the system know that you are stuck and then the system figure out, get you through. So now imagine, we're going to add on that diff lock. You see the back axle right, there's a cross here. Once you're on the diff lock right, you totally lock the gear, left, right. It will lock in the center, left right right you just lock 50 50 spinning later we go out with the diff lock you won't feel the car like spin there and then wait for a while then you something like jerking 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 you once there's an obstacle it's better for you to use a diff lock system that i found out the most useful in the dmax x terrain is the rear differential locker uh, as you know we did two trial one without uh, locker engage um, just the traction control and the second time we did with the locker it seems like seamless, there's no abruption and immediately it goes through the challenges. When you come across a river crossing, right, uh, the first thing you want to look at is actually how fast the water is flowing. So if that river, you see water is flowing fast, um, there's a few things you need to determine already. First is, um, how, how, how deep is the water? So what we need to do is basically with a stick or with a pole that you have, we want to find the deeper spot. What, ha what else it tells you? It tells you it's muddy, right? But if you push down further, push all the way down, what does it tell you? It's hard packed. Mm. So there is a layer of mud, fine, but still at the end, it's hard packed. So uh, for this D-Max, what is the depth uh, of water reading? Okay. So uh, a standard D-Max like this is 800 millimeter. 800 millimeter is uh, equivalent to somewhere uh, below, right at the fork light, the second fork light. Somewhere there, a, a bit, a bit, just nice, uh, the tire, uh, cover the tire. Is there any rule of thumb that uh, the entry, entry speed for the vehicle? The correct speed is, you want to push the water away from you. In the driver's seat, if you see that wave in front of you, follow. When you have a wave in front of you, you have a low spot next to you. Mm. Engine, critical area, and your door seals. Yeah. Mm. From seeing the, the, the wave, uh, I think I uh, follow the wave. Oh, 
This is a very simple word and easy to remember and a very good guideline for a beginner like us. Really have to 100% trust in the car. That one, I feel so scary. Uh, be before that, I feel like, Adam, should I do it? Should I do it? What should I do for that? Okay, <laughs> Good job, good okay. job. The most challenging one should be the side wall. A bit worried actually. I, I, I feel like the, the truck will go sideways or flip. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, we all like, wow! <laughs> to me, right, I think it's a breakthrough I want to show to my friend. Actually, women can drive four wheel drive as well. Have some drinks? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, Oh, still cooling, huh? What's this cooler box model? Huh? This is Stanley Adventure Cooler Box. Comes in 16 quads. 16 quads means how many cans can put in? 21 cans. How long can it last? 36 hours. Wow. Team Stanley, whoosh! Mm. You know what this tastes like? <laughs> tastes like victory. Victory! Ha! Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. Wow, well, after a long day, right, the water is still cold. Exactly. But I noticed that Chai Ling is using a smaller version. Why did you choose the smaller version instead of big ones like us? Yeah, like? light and easy and I can ask from you. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> can, 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 can. I really like this color. Cheers. Three, two, one, Team Isuzu! Hoo-ha! The first challenge is recovery challenge. In this challenge, each team will be given a scenario. They would need to overcome the obstacles with what they have learned from our instructor today. In this challenge, accurate judgment and team strategy plays an important role. All right, Team Stanley. Hi. Hi. Well, oh, no, no, your team is so slow. No. <laughs> All right, Team Stanley, Team Izuzu, welcome yes. back. Yes. Yes. Right, we we'll start off with the winch vehicle. That will be the stuck vehicle. So your mission now is to use the equipment that is provided to you and set up a winching operation. This is not a time trial. There's no such thing as doing recovery in a rush. If time is not a factor, what is the so-called point system so that we know which areas that we should beat Team Sandley? Okay, I want um, to evaluate you based on your ability okay. to prioritize safety. So, for Y4 ni bukan uh, untuk kepatasan. Yang paling penting keselamatan. Okay, safety first. Kita observe apa masalah yang berlaku dan kita selesaikan dengan selamat. If you are ready, let's proceed with the winching operation. Your challenge starts okay. now. Okay, uh, before we start, maybe we discuss first okay. uh, the steps. Lah. Double pull better. Yeah, double double pull. Pull. Okay. okay. So, let's first start off by um, hooking there first. Release first. Okay. Kenji. He's a bigger size. As you know, the, the rope is, uh, the steel rope is not light. So, uh, good to have a big guy. Over here. Uh, girlfriend to pull out, may I? Uh, you, but you need to use leather grip, my dear. Safety first. That we did a lot of mistake because of the safety, that we miss it. But we have a really good teammate like Wan Li. They, she keep mentioned for the safety. Safety first. Unless you don't become father anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Masuk macam tu, dia nak masuk kepala dia. Yes, baik dia. Dia dah akan lock. Dah, okay. Dia tarik ni, tarik ni. Okay, good. Sama? No, I have not seen all this, uh, the wrenching machine, the rope and all this. So, it's something very new for me. Yeah, first time experiencing it. I think one of the things that all of us collectively learn is the fact that, you know, 4x4 is not as difficult as people think it is. Is that ready? Ah? 
reduce the parts. Okay. Okay, got power. You pull first. A bit more. Oh. Four L engage. Four L. Parking brake. Okay. Okay. So everything is already double check, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay, you ramp, ramp, and then. Benji, you go ahead. You all stop. You hold. What? Uh, I'm not really good, but I can handle it. It's not that easy, but it's not that hard. You have to open it, right? Yeah. Do the S. S. Yeah. Okay. Okay. One, okay. two, go. Go. They can look back and say, you know what? I was in a situation where I could actually winch a car, which if you ask me about five months ago, I I would say I could never do it. Hold the hook higher, so she can see. Uh, later, you your hand let go first. Okay, just go go it slowly, yeah, dear. Okay, good. Good. You're done. All right. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. You got the car unstuck. Very good. Very good. I'm very impressed. Good job. A few things I need to point out though. Okay. Once we have the rope yeah. hooked up, even though it's not on tension, once we have a rope rigged up, we must always ensure that vehicle is secure first. Right, when the part that asked me to go through the vehicle, that I did some mistake also because I do know what to do over there. So Chi Wei mentioned, um, remember when you're crossing to step on that rope, I see everybody practicing that, which is perfect. But what happened was, it was only practice when we were rigging up for a pool. So this is a very good uh, experience rather than just watch YouTube. Uh. So it's not the same when you come to do it yourself. Uh. But there was at one point, um, while you were working yeah. on that spooling it out, yeah. you were actually standing right in between. Yeah. So um, I decided to take one point out of that. Okay. I will have to take a penalty. Yeah. The reason why I took a point out was your hands were way too close. Yeah. Um, yeah. The person that is controlling doesn't see your hand. Uh, I made a mistake of being very close to the winch because I'm an OCD person, so I wanted to make sure it doesn't overlap. So I was very close. And one last thing, I was standing right here. Uh, I intentionally stood here. So in every winching situation, safety comes first. Good job, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yourself a bit Thank you. Team Izuzu, Team Stanley, we have come towards the end of our four-wheel drive boot camp. Again, congratulations for making all the way through. Yes. Right. I hope this training um, will prepare you in a way for what's upcoming in Bono Safari. Yes, 200% ready. Mental strong, physical strong, yang betul-betul kuat yang akan berjaya menghadapi Bono Safari 2022. Um, you guys are great teammates and I think that's more important than anything. Four wheel driving is not about an individual, it's always about teamwork. So, four of us will make a very good team, I guess. Yeah. This also comes to um, our results for the uh, winching challenge. I think both have done uh, superbly well. So I have to choose a winner. So. I choose Team Stanley. Yeah! 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 Team Stanley! Whoa! I feel my team is a very, very happy team. Uh, we work together, we chill, we have fun. You guys, don't take this for granted. I think Team Izuzu is going to come back at you hard. Okay, <laughs> we'll see that. <laughs> Chi Wei, as the team leader, thank I'd like you. to present to you thank your you. prize. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, great job. And all the best to all of you. Bono Safari. Yeah. 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 Life is about up and down. Same goes to the obstacle we have in Bono Safari. We can't predict what might happen, but we can always be prepared and go with the flow. This is what I'm really looking forward, which is to see a better version of myself. So guys, we finished today's training. How are you feeling? Good. Good, 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 good. good. Confident? Yeah. yeah.
I'd like to remind you that every single challenge from today onwards, you need to collect badges. And the team with the most badges will be the team that walks home with prizes up to 30,000 Ringgit Malaysia. And this year, they will not be the only winners. You also stand a chance to walk home with prizes and awesome prizes. All you need to do is stay tuned to every single episode and answer our questions. Are you ready to let go of all your creature comforts? Yeah. Yes! If that's the case, we'll see you in Sabah! Yeah. Yeah. Watch the Extreme Borneo Challenge to win weekly cash prizes and exclusive merchandise happening from 6 to 26 December. Simply follow these simple steps for your chance at grabbing the prizes. Don't miss out on the action. Welcome to the beautiful Kota Kinabalu, Sabah! Oh! Right, 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 right! Okay, okay, okay. Go, okay, go, 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 go! Go! Jalan basikal tu memang gila. Oh, sh- Slow, 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 slow! Ah, Look at your water! Oh my god, my lips so fast, you see? I say, I need to conquer this. Yes! Are you ready? Let the challenge begin! Woo!